Camry. My episode, my turn. I'm gonna be the best me. It's my turn. Can I stop you, my friend? This summer was very huge for me. A lot, is, a lot happened this summer. I played with 3D, and I, that was the team I played with last summer when it was Corona, so we didn't really get to travel a lot. But last year, I could tell last year that I loved playing with them, even though like I wasn't the man of the team. that go-to guy, I wasn't like, like I was still trying to build myself with that team. Coach Sean, man, it's a lot of mixed emotions about that dude, you know? But I mean, I love that man. He's done a lot for me this past summer. Him just letting me to be able to come play these past two years was just a blessing by itself, you know? The um, reason I liked him so much is because he didn't, like sugarcoat anything with me. Like if I wasn't doing something right on offense, he was on me about it quick. If I wasn't doing something on defense, he was on me some on me about it quick. Like like I respect that, and I, I like how he got on me no matter if I was having a great game or a good game or a bad game. Like he said what he had to say, we kept it pushing. And I mean, he he did he did what was best for me in the season, put me in the best positions to be successful. Uh, he had to talk to me about what I need to do to be better, what I need to do to get recruited, and keep getting recruited and stay getting recruited. So I mean, that man did a lot for me, and just I just I've never really just got a chance to just tell him thank you, you know. And hopefully, uh, if he sees this, you know, I just, he can just know like I really appreciate what he did this uh, past two years for me, you know. Just him letting me come play again is just like a true blessing, especially having nowhere to go. So, I mean, I love it, you know, and then the way we played, it fit my play style. So, I mean, like, he literally was, like, the perfect coach for me this summer. So, like, I couldn't ask. I couldn't ask for anything more, you know. Got me to a school that I really like. Got me to a school that loves me. So, I mean, that's that was always the goal was to just go to college for free. And not only am I going to college for free, I had options on where I wanted to go to college. And I was able to decide and I was able to make a decision. You know, not everybody gets that blessing, not everybody gets that choice. So, I mean, that's a lot of that goes towards him, you know, being my coach and what he did for me. So, I just, that's, that's my guy. You know, I love him. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you had that many dogs. How many How many you got with you right now? I got three. I got Tyson, Chanel, and Bolt somewhere around here. I'm about to throw this ball. <laughs> just living life. <laughs> how you been, man? I'm good. How are you? Good, you know, just living, living life. What color is your shirt you got on? Lime green. Hey, man. It's <laughs> good to be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it's yeah. good to see you, man. I know it's good. It's been a minute. I'd last, I know. I know. It yeah, has been a minute. I'm, I'm coming back to Dallas soon, so I was going to make sure I came right. and saw you. Yeah. That's what that's what's up. Yeah, my mom was just down there this weekend, but I stayed behind. I got you. Yeah. Oh, when you're in town, let me know, man, so we can catch up and get some dinner or something. I got you. Yeah. 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 Well, are you staying in shape or what? I mean, you working out? 
I mean, yeah, every day I was in the gym. I've been in the gym every day. It's it be it was it was hard to get in the gym the past couple of days because of that storm. Yeah. But yeah, I've been in the gym. It's 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 hard staying in shape though. I literally gonna have to probably play the whole game this year. It's gonna be yeah. different. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Your dad hit me said you guys are playing Duncanville, so I'm gonna try to make that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see see you guys play against each other. Yeah, Duncanville first game, like that's crazy. Is it, is, is it a real game or is it? A yeah, game? first first official game. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, like it's better. yeah at the Campbell Center at this big stadium. Yeah, even better. At eight thirty on a Friday. That's. I can't can't beat that. <laughs> yeah, can't beat that. <laughs> was uh when's the last time you talked to Coach Mills? Uh, two days ago, yeah. I talked to Springman yesterday. Okay. Did Mills come in town and watch you practice or anything? Coach Mills did. Yeah, yeah. Coach Mills did. Yeah, Good. he was there. Uh, talked to me before and after. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was there. Awesome, man. I know they're excited about it, and I think it's a great situation for you. Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Good. Well, you know, don't 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 take your senior year for granted, man. Yeah. Day by day, and all that stuff will fall into line and. And uh, you know, fall into place. I mean, but just, just live in the moment, man, and enjoy your senior year and every game, man. Because when it's gone, it's gone. You know. Yeah, I got you. So, what else been up, man? Your mom and your dad good? Yeah, they straight. You know, they both petty, but <laughs> they straight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, your your outfits on your Instagram, man. Like, what's going on, man? What I was look. Doing? You can't even lie. I was alive, fit both of them. <laughs> I had the jeans on one day and I had the shorts on the next day. Yes, one of those outfits, man, it was kind of loud. I don't know what you was up to. Man. Yeah, like one of them was all black, you know, I was in my mode, and then the other one, like, it was like, it was chilling. So I was just like, let's take pictures. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. But yeah, I mean, it, it's live, though, you know. I'm yeah. I'm going to pull out another fit here soon, maybe about I a week you. or two. <laughs> just live it up, man. Yeah. Bro, I'm going to let you go. You look busy. Nah, I'm just at the dog park doing my thing, bro. You know yeah. me, man. Enjoying life. And and uh, I put I put that work in a long time ago, what you're doing, man, so now I can live a little bit. Yeah, I know. Hopefully, I'll get there. Hopefully, I'm going to get there. You will. You will, man. Just, you know, look, man, as long as you keep your head down, keep working, man, stay in the gym, stay out of trouble, everything will fall into line, man. You yeah. Know? So... Well, man, anything you need, you let me know, man. I look forward to watching you play in a couple weeks, man. Appreciate you, Coach. I miss you, man. I miss you too, man. All right, brother. I'll All talk right. to you later. Bye. That's my guy. Oh, I love that dude. Man, that's my guy. I just got to sit here and reminisce real quick. <laughs> Dang. Hey, you really open now. <sighs> that's, that's crazy. See, now I got to go back to Dallas and get in the gym. We need to have another season. <sighs> I need to get, I need to hang my 3D posters, man. Hang them. Hang my jerseys. Jeez. Then we play AB first game. Like, that's God. Come back, we crying in each other's arms. Hey, you over. Now we enemies. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> I gotta see, bro. First game. I'm not gonna say. It. I'm gonna just say we, it's gonna be a good matchup because I don't want to jinx myself. Not gonna wood. Yeah, that's gonna be live. November 12th. November 12th, Friday, 8:30 at Campbell Center. Be there. We'll be in two preseason events this year. Um, you know, we'll get to see exactly where we are early. Um, I'm expecting our guys to come out and compete at a high level um, and just and see what we need to work on. You want to talk about confidence, um, you know, Cam has it. Um, the year before we end up, we were in the regional final um, and then we're returning, uh, you know, three starters off that team, um, one who's the number one player in the city. Um, and for Cam to come in uh, in a moment like that against one of our rivals um, and to hit a, a big shot to win it, um, that just speaks volumes and, and, and where his confidence is. Played the preseason game against Manville. We got Legacy. Yeah, I told him, we here all season long. Oh, God. All season long. They're going to fill us this year. And they've always kind of been a rival to everybody, a little scrappy team. So we're playing them, right? And it's going back and forth the whole game. Like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> And 
and it was a tough game. Like we was talking mess, and we knew every, we all knew each other on the court, so that's what made it fun. The game was packed, great environment. So it's going back and forth, and they go up on us by dang near twenty. <laughs> So we fighting to go back. Our coach and the coach Perez, he not helping us out at all. He letting us figure it out. So we fought our way back. And I remember uh, we scored and I got a steal and I threw it to Will. And Will, like, he got fouled on the layup. So then we got the two free throws and we go up. So then they come down, they get fouled, he go up. So I remember it's, it's about seven seconds left when he shoots the free throw. So he makes the free throw, and I think it's a tie game. It's a tie game. So everybody runs like away from the ball. So I look at my, I'm on the free throw line. And like me and my dad, when it come down to like clutch situations, we got like, I don't know, we can like, we just see each other on the court. Like, I know exactly where he is in the gym. So I looked at him and he just told me, he was like, go get the ball. So I ran up, uh, Sean threw it to me. And all I hear is I'm walking it up, time running down. And all I hear is my dad voice over everybody in the crowd. I just hear him say, go. So I took off and I just went. I went between, behind, I'm between again. And I just know I didn't have no time left, so I shot it. So when I shot it, it went in. That is just history, but that was just a great feeling, you know, to be able to just hit that shot. All my teammates come and give me a hug, seeing my mom and my dad there, and my uncle, all them celebrating. So that was that was a great experience. It was fun. We get it. We're running like we're supposed to. We can go make a play and transition. Let's do it. All right, transition D. We should be talking. Everybody should know what's going on. Rotate, right, Luke. Go, Nick. Stay, Justin. Good D, Luke. Hush out, Nick. One more, rotate, Manny. That's you, Justin. That's you, Justin. Hey, that's your charge. Rotate. Let's go, Jordan. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Charge. Jordan. Y'all got to talk. Y'all not talking. He's wide open. That's a charge, though. I know, but I'm trying to help him. He's wide. I can't wait to play for him, though. Good move, Chase. Stay in there. There you go, boy. You gotta, you gotta get back in front, gang. Let's go. Tell him to get off the court. I'm gonna run an ankle. Hey, Johnny Dunkey. Ethan, let's go. Get Johnny one. Hey, baby. Ooh. Three ball. Who? Get there! Get there. Yeah, no! Good, no, good, good. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, hop to it, next group. I'm gonna go find He gets the breakdown and the pocket. So now, if he does go on the floor, you can still stay in front. You lunge at him, ain't nothing you can do. 
I'm hoping Luke to hit me. He took it out of his hand. Yeah, I knew. We never just put the five man in. So guys can play in transition. Now they're helping from the corner versus the wing, which now you're gonna be able to knock that down 90% of the time while open. All right. You hey. want that? So you do the same thing. He just hit one. All right. Right. He just hit one. Make them have to pay. Right. You don't want to pick. We play great teams. They, somebody's gonna be sitting right there waiting on you. They gonna say that's gonna be a charge. Move it. Trust him. Trust that he's gonna make the right call. Yee, baby. Let's go, we back up. We back up. Way to go, let's go. Alright, here we go. Hey! 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 Like, stay silent and allow them to do their job. Good to see you, man. You got mad love on that uh on that tweet. Man. Instagram was even way more. Uh I'm not on Instagram. My commitment to ORU is probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. You know. Uh they're a they're basically a huge family. You know, it's my best fit. They started uh recruiting me in like end of the school year like in like beginning of the summer end of the school year and they literally have talked to me every single day since then so i mean that's that's great you know gotta have you gotta have a relationship with coaches like that and if you don't you know and it's not the right fit for you you know you gotta have somewhere where they love you you know and they gonna do what's best for you and best for them to win so and then it's you no know, like uh, when i went on my visit you know it was like wasn't about the party or, or anything like that. It was about like if it fit me, you know, it fit the way I play. I love the play style. I love Coach Mills, Coach Springman, the coaching staff. You know, the players. You know, we all clicked. We was cool. I love the campus. Not too far from home, but not too close. And then like other other schools that recruited me. Like my other favorite is probably Colorado State. You know. Um, and um, Memphis started recruiting me recently. I like them too, but you know, there's a lot of flaws with that. Then, uh, what's another great school that I like? Um, I really, I really liked uh, Colorado State though. Like, they were, they were, they did a really good job. And then Wofford, Wofford was good. I like Wofford. Yeah, it was just something about Oral Roberts, like, like my family loved them, they treated, they, they loved both my parents, you know, treated us great on our visit. So coming to RRU was like, like, one of my best decisions I could make, you know, get me to where I need to get to on the next level, especially seeing what they done with Max. Like, if y'all ain't really watch Oral Roberts and watch them in the tournament, y'all need to go watch them. Like, what they did with Max was great. So I'm saying, I just want to see, like, you know, if I'm going to be successful at that school, and I think most definitely I will, I am. My goals for the season, basically, is just number one goal is win the state championship. Um, I think everybody wants to win the state championship their senior year. And then, of course, like minor goals for me, you know, district MVP, uh, try to beat Texas boy, um, get ready to play the year, end up becoming McDonald's. Like, it's a lot of goals to have. But number one for me right now is definitely a uh, state championship. Like, State championship is like all I'm looking for right now. But I mean, the other goal is gonna come if we if I'm doing what I'm supposed to, you know. MVP of the district, you know, lead in scoring, lead in assists, steals, whatever. But state championship though, that's that's top of my list for sure, for sure. Gotta get that before I go to college. Well, we're returning two, uh, you know, two Division One uh, level players this year, um, you know, in Cam and in Sean. Um, who, who we have high expectations for as far as leading us. 
um, and just getting over the hump. Um, you know, we've been sh we've, we've fallen short the last two years um, in, in winning a state title. Um, but, you know, we believe in, in, in Cam and Sean uh, can get the job done for us this year. Um, you know, this year we're going to be a little bit a little bit, uh, a little little bit, bit younger than what we have been in the past. Um, so we're going to be relying on, 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 on some inexperience. Um, but again, with, uh, you know, with, you know, the return of Cam and Sean, um, you know, we're going to expect those guys to, to help us win big time ball games. Good, Montana. This is Teddy Wheeler. I'm coaching um, at my back cave, my personal back cave. Um, here to talk about Cameron Embry. Cam is a terrific young player. I think he was a kid that was recognized and identified for his talent early on. And for somehow or another, he actually went from being um, a highly touted, you know, big time prospect to being actually overlooked. And I kind of, um, I like kids like that that feel like they got something to prove and got a chip on their shoulder um, to kind of help them realize their immense gifts. And he certainly has a, a ton of talent and tools and I wanted to work with him. So it was a no-brainer for me um, when the kid and the family reached out about, about getting in the gym with him and trying to help him turn, turn that corner that he may have needed. Um, obviously, he was already skilled, you know, Kid, that skill doesn't, you know, that doesn't happen overnight. That's tons and thousands and thousands of hours in the gym. So I don't profess to have taught him how to play and, or claim him as my kid or something like that. I just tried to help him, you know, really make the next step and go to another level in his game where he could be, go from a really good high school player um, to a sought after Division One recruit. Um, and we've, we've had some success in the spring and summer working together and I'm super excited about what his future holds. They tuned for episode two. <laughs>